If you get queasy at the sight of blood or have difficulty understanding the Big Bang Theory, then you're probably an art student looking to study humanities. We have with us here today Dr. Chao Yong Ning, who's an education specialist and also a parent to two children, and Tarani Rajendran, who's a second year university student. Thank you for joining us here today. So Taru, it's common perception that smart students study science in colleges or universities. As a result, humanities students are often labelled as being not as smart. Do you think that's true? Yes, especially with my friends and family. Most of my cousins are engineers and doctors. So when after I did well in my SPM, my parents expected me to take up science course in university. But my passion was on journalism. So how did you manage to convince your parents then? It wasn't easy. My mom had an impression that journalism isn't a real thing and she was very much confused that why I did not pick science. It took a lot of persuasion but then I was very happy when she finally relented because I'm enjoying the course very much right now. I have done exclusive interview with Mr. Ram Karpal and I have met Penang's Chief Minister Mr. Lim Guan Ng. Oh, well done you. What a lovely experience. So Dr. Chow, as a parent yourself, do you think it's about time parents learn to respect their children's decisions? I think parents should always uh, respect their children's uh, decisions and uh, just because uh, they themselves like something, it doesn't mean that their children uh, like the same thing too. So parents should always allow their children to chase their own dreams. I think you should always take what you read from the internet uh, with a pinch of salt, especially some of the, especially some of the surveys. And uh, not all surveys are created equal. So like if you get data about uh, study choice and what is the best uh, careers from people like Forbes in Malaysia, things like uh, The Edge, Focus Malaysia, those are reputable journals, uh, you, you can trust their, their findings. But the rest, I think you should be very careful. What do you think is the future of humanities in terms of its job prospects and the development in the industry? I think there's a misconception about people who study social sciences, humanities and arts. They think that they are not very bright, but nothing's further than the truth. In fact, the Malaysia most famous uh, entrepreneur, Tan Sri Tony Fernandez of Asia, is a chartered accountant by training. Uh, a recent survey by Focus Malaysia uh, of Malaysia's top 50 bosses of a listed company shows that uh, 22 out of the 50 top bosses actually had study social sciences, humanity or the arts in the first degree. So what would your advice be to parents who are sending their children to colleges and universities? Always let your children chase their own dreams and you should support them in spirits and in ringgit. Thank you for sharing your experiences with us here today. If you're still unsure of what to study, speak to your parents, counsellors or professionals in the industry. Alternatively, Speak to student ambassadors like Tarani over here who will be able to share honest and impartial advice on what to do. At the end of the day, just remember, it's your passion that drives you to succeed. This is Christina Koo from Hanchang News. Goodbye! Bye.